Hello beautiful people of the internet. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a Lizzie Hearts costume. So I'm first starting off with the crown and all you need is a headband. Mine is quite thick though. So I'm going to be taking some scissors and just trimming off a little bit off of each side. And then once that is done, I am just kind of evening it out on each side by folding in half. And this is what it looks like and as you can see it kind of comes apart in the middle so I'm just going to be taking some hot glue and placing that and then just pressing firmly to attach it back together. And this is what it looks like and now taking some paperboard, taking a pen, you're going to want to start drawing a teardrop shape with a kind of heart shape at the top. And if you need to, you can always print out stencils online. That's kind of what I did. And on one of them, you're going to want to have a little point. And then you're going to want to have the heart, and you're going to glue that right on top. And you're going to need four of those, and then this large one that's going to be in the middle. And you're going to want to paint all of them gold. And now going back to our headband, you're going to want to add a thin layer of gold paint first and then once that is dry, add a thicker coat. And then cover all of your cardboard pieces with glossy Mod Podge. And once that is dry, taking a red Sharpie, I'm just going to be adding little hearts and dots wherever they are on her crown. And this is what it looks like. And now taking a black Sharpie, I'm going to be outlining where the heart is and all the edges on my piece. To give it a little bit more dimension so you see it a little bit better. And this is what it looks like. And you're going to want to do that to all of your pieces. Now taking your hot glue gun, you're going to want to add a line of glue. And I'm attaching my ribbon, but what I found works best is to attach it after you glue on your pieces, because then you can kind of cover up the edges where the glue is. So take your cardboard pieces and add some glue wherever you'd like them, making sure that they are evenly spaced on each side. You're going to want to first find the middle point, add some glue, and then glue on our large middle piece, gluing it closer to the bottom. And then adding a line close and adding a line of glue at the top portion of our headband, you're going to want to glue on all our little heart pieces. And now I'm taking some ribbon and I'm going to start making little loops at the bottom of our headband. And then cut off the excess and do the same thing on each side. And then once you have two on each side, I'm going to be taking some diamond little studs and attaching it right where we glued the ends of our string. Just push it through and then on the back, I use some scissors to kind of take the claws and push them towards the headband. Now taking some red acrylic jewels, I'm just adding some glue on the back and attaching them to the bottom of our loops. And 
And then once you have that done, you have the complete crown. And now moving on to the dress. Starting off with some paper, I just printed out some pictures of hearts that I found online. And using a razor blade, or you could use an X-Acto knife, just start cutting out the outline of it and then all the little white pieces on the inside. And you want to be very careful when using any sharp objects like this because they are very sharp and you can cut yourself very easily. Now taking this black tighter fitting dress that I got at H&M, I'm adding a piece of foam board or you can use cardboard inside and placing my stencil right on top of the fabric. And I made multiple for different types of hearts and taking a sponge brush and red and black fabric paint. The one I'm using for the red is called Scarlet and the black one is just black. Taking some tape, you're going to want to place down your stencil and then place the tape on top. And then taking the red paint and mixing a small amount of the black to create a slightly kind of burgundy color. And then taking the paint, you're going to want to dab it onto our stencil. You don't want to go with a spreading motion, you want to go with more of a dabbing motion so you don't move the stencil around. And then once that is done, I added a gold line around the edge and added some more patterns to copy the dress. And now we're going to be doing the top portion of our dress. Taking a half heart cutout that I just did with a folded piece of paper and using a pink pen, I'm just going to be tracing it lightly so I get kind of the outline of it. And now taking some gold paint. On a little piece of cardboard, I'm taking my sponge brush and I'm packing this quite heavily because it's gonna be a base coat and we want it to really show vibrantly. Once you have both of them done, I'm now adding the little red swirls inside and I'm just freehanding this. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, but I recommend having the doll there so you can kind of look at it and see how you want it. And we have the top hearts done. And this is the full dress. And now for the little poofs on the sides, I'm taking some yellow tool and some red tool. Taking the yellow tool, you're going to want to measure how much you need, making sure that the fabric is folded in half. You wanna mark the fabric to where it's kind of a high-low design and then cut that out. And I placed it on myself and then used pins to see where I needed it. And taking some yellow thread and a needle, you're going to want to do an in and out stitch all the way around. And then I did the same thing with the red fabric. I added another little layer underneath in the front just to kind of make it a little bit more opaque. And I took a smaller strip of the yellow fabric and this one I made shorter and to where it would be a little bit more poofy and then I just added some ribbon on top of that and now moving on to the shoes all you need are some red sneakers you could do flats but I have these and I got these from Target and flipping over some gold mirrored paper taking a ruler and a pen you're going to want to make a rectangle about the size of a playing card And once you have four of them, you're going to want to take one of them and cut it not quite in half and do the same thing to another one. Once you have all of your pieces, I just rounded off the edges using my scissors. And taking the same gold paper, I'm going to be cutting some strips. Once you have your strips, I'm just taking it and gluing it to the sides of our pieces. 
and then just trim off any excess. And once you have that done to all of them, I also cut out some hearts and I'm gluing those to the larger cards. And then taking the pieces, you're going to take one of these shorter but slightly longer ones and glue it underneath the full card and then taking the really short one and then just kind of stack them on top of each other. And you're going to want to do that to both of them. And once you have both of them done, I'm taking a black Sharpie and on the edges where we added those strips, I'm just adding a line to give it a little bit more definition so you can see it a little bit better. And doing the same thing on the heart as well. And now taking a red Sharpie, I'm also adding a line on the heart. And now flipping over our card pieces and taking a piece of ribbon, adding some glue, you're going to want to make two little loops. And now taking your shoe and you're going to want to remove the laces all the way until the last one. Now reattaching the laces, you're going to want to make sure that you slip the strings through the little loops so it'll attach to your shoes. And this way you can wear them on your shoes and you can remove them once you are done with the costume. And I also added some fishnet tights with it as well. And this is just an adorable costume. It looks so cute on, and I love it because it can work with even if you're an adult or a child, because they don't sell these in adult sizes, which is kind of sad. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you recreate it, please send me pictures on Twitter or Instagram using the hashtag CraftyGirl13. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!